Hi, Phyllis here from southernfrugal.com. I wanted to uh, do a little video concerning the clippers uh, to tell you what kind works the best and where they can be bought and how to care for them. So I'm going to turn the camera down now and show you what comes with the clippers. I use wall clippers and this is the Pro Series rechargeable and you can get these at Walmart now um, at the price now is $49.97 and when I bought these they were $39 probably $39.99 but anyway of course the price has gone up a little bit they are rechargeable and we still have the same batteries in it that were in it originally now in the kit you will get a charger right here and you get a little brush for cleaning the blades and a little blade cover for when you're storing them you want to clip that on so that the blades don't get damaged you'll get a pair of scissors a comb and these guard blades now these are used more for my poodles, but if you've got some other kind of dog like a Yorkie or, or even a Cocker Spaniel, they have to be trimmed just not as often as poodles do. So you might find these different sizes useful. Now, the one that I use when I'm uh, cutting my husband's hair is usually this one, which is a purple one, and then this one just around the bottom edge and back of his neck. I use a little smaller one. Now, the clipper blades will come right off. And the way you do that is just take a hold of them and just pull them like that, and they come off. Now see, these have got a lot of hair there, and so I'm just gonna clean that off a little bit. And then, because I use the same clippers on my husband's hair and uh, now all three poodles because when I first got these we just had one poodle now we've got three so the other thing that you'll need is just regular rubbing alcohol and we'll pour that into a little dish and just put my clipper blades down in it and kind of move them around a little bit and just sort of disinfects them and kind of clean some of the old oil and some of the hair out of them. And then I'm going to make sure that I dry them thoroughly. Now you do not want to put your clipper blade in any kind of water because that will cause them to rust. But this alcohol will dry pretty quickly. And you'll want to look inside here and get any hair that's accumulated in there out. See? some got in there so you want to just clean that out and now I'm going to put my clipper blades back on just hook it in that little slot there and then they just clip right back on there so I'm going to turn them on a little bit and I'm going to put them back down in this alcohol solution just barely touching the alcohol and just turn it on make sure it's thoroughly cleaned. Now, this comes with the clippers and it's the bristles are kind of really thicker bristles. I use an old toothbrush which has got much finer little bristles on it and just do this. And while you're trimming your dog, uh, you'll want to frequently clean these out and it'll make your blades last a lot longer. Now, just like a lot of other things, it actually is cheaper to just buy a new clipper than it is to buy clipper blades. So you wanna take care of the blades. Uh, if you have to reorder the blades, they're gonna probably cost you about $25. So you wanna uh, really take care of your blades. Now, I get this, uh, machine oil, it's Singer machine oil, and you can get that also at Walmart, or I guess you can, I don't know, it's been a long time, this bottle's still probably half full, 
So the oil also works as a, a cleaning agent for the blades. So what you do is just put you a couple of drops in there, run it across the blades, turn it on, let it run for just a, you know, maybe 10 seconds, get that uh, oil distributed in the blades, and then wipe off the ex excess oil. Okay, now my clipper's ready to go again, and I'm going to store it by clipping on the blade guard. And that's the way you store it. And then when you get it in the box, it comes with this little foam rubber thing, and I usually just go ahead and wrap it up in that again and store it in my little box. Now, you're going to get these scissors, and they are good scissors for cutting hair. Just don't use them for cutting paper ever, and they'll last a very long time. Of course, you get the little comb, too. And so the only thing extra that you'll need is rubbing alcohol, an old toothbrush with fine bristles. Now, you don't want the kind that's got all that rubbery stuff in it. Just one with fine bristle, bristle, bristles, uh, bristles, and uh, even a, a little uh, child's toothbrush would probably work pretty good. And the other thing is the Singer machine oil. Now this pack's going to come with a little itty bitty thing of oil, and I can tell you it's not near enough because the clippers are going to way outlast the oil. So you want to go ahead and just get you a bottle of this machine oil. And don't just use any kind of oil. You need to use machine oil. And your clipper blades will last a very, very long time. Now, uh, when you're trimming your, your dog, and especially if you're, you'll be trimming a poodle, these clipper blades get very hot. And like I can usually trim uh, maybe two, two feet before they get hot and uh, are really warm. So what you want to do while you're trimming is just touch them on your arm and see if they feel hot to your skin because you don't want, I mean, they get hot enough to actually burn the dog. So you don't want to, you know, be running them so long that the blades get hot. So just take it and put it on you and see if they feel hot. If they do, uh, I'll, help. I'll just tell you what I do. I just clip the blade off Take it off, wrap it in a paper towel, and put it in the bottom of the refrigerator for about 10 minutes, and it cools it right off. So, there you go. They just clip right off. And now we have the original batteries are still in this clipper. And uh, I don't ever run it till it runs all the way down. I just, you know, keep it recharged. Now, it will operate by plugging it in and plugging it into the wall, even if your batteries were dead, it will still work by plugging it into the wall. Maybe you probably have to have an extension cord, but it'll still work. So, when you're looking at clipper blades, check these out first. Now, uh, another uh, brand is Oster, I believe, O-S-T-E-R. And I think even in Walmart, they've got uh, uh, clippers that are, are still $39, but they're not like this. Uh, and you want one that is uh, rechargeable, and it's so convenient when you're trimming the dogs to be able to use it like this. See, no cord. So, and when you're trimming hair, uh, like when I'm trimming my husband's hair, I've always got a guard on it usually, like that. And when I'm trimming around his ears or in the back, you know, I also make sure the blades aren't hot. Now, when you're trimming your dog and you have got a guard on the blade, you don't have to worry so much about them being hot because, see, the, the blade is never going to come in contact with the dog. But when you're trimming, like, the face, the feet, and around the tail, uh, you want to make sure that they don't get hot. Okay, so I hope this will help. And uh, your, your clippers... Uh, even paying $49.97 for them at Walmart are going to last a very long time. And if you do two haircuts, you will have paid for the clippers. And, of course, to, to pay for getting dogs uh, groomed is, I think, the cheapest I have found is like 
$39, um, excuse me, $38, and that's just to trim them. So uh, if you do this yourself, you can just save a ton of money. So anyway, that's it for the wall clippers, and I will see you next time with some more uh, money-saving ideas. So see you next time.